بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ويلكم تو اي بي اس اون لاين ليرنينج سيستم اي ام جان زيب خان اند اي هوب اول اوف يو ويل بي فاين اند هيلثي ديير سوينس اتس ذا فيرست ليكتشر اوف كلاس 10 سو بيفور جوينج اهيد اي سجست يو تو بليز ستوب ذس ليكتشر فور ا وايل اند جو ثرو ذيز انستراكشنز Careful. After instructions, let us be start with unit number ten, which is the first unit of class ten. That is simple harmonic motion and waves. Students, here is a term oscillation. You will find this term again and again in this chapter. So let's be see. what this term is a body is said to be vibrating if it moves back and forth or to and fro about a point another term for vibration is oscillation it means vibration is also called oscillation when a body is vibrating it means it's oscillating let's be move on first topic is simple harmonic motion shm is the short form or the abbreviation of the topic definition says simple harmonic motion occurs when the net force is directly proportional to the displacement from the mean position and is always directed to the mean position students the very first condition or the requirement of simple harmonic motion is the body just be vibrating it means the body should not be rotating circulating having random motion or a linear motion in simple harmonic motion the body should be vibrating only and after this condition or requirement you have to keep two things in your mind when a body executes simple harmonic motion then the force will be directly proportional to the displacement it means displacement zyada hogi to force bhi zyada hogi displacement kam hogi to force bhi kam hogi and the direction of this force will always be toward the mean position here are three examples in this chapter which we are going to prove that these are executing simple harmonic motion first is motion of mass attached to a spring ball and ball system and motion of a simple pendulum so let's be start with the first one motion of a mass attached to a spring students in this diagram you can see we have an object having mass m that is connected with a spring and when we apply a force on that spring then this body moves rightward and it covers some displacement that displacement or distance is denoted by x when we release that object this body tends to move toward its mean position and doesn't stop here and moves leftward in this case the spring was stretched but in this phase the spring is compressed and the body is again moving to the right part it means it will keep moving keep vibrating according to hooke's law the force is directly proportional to the change in net hooke's law you were taught in class 9 this law says that the force is directly proportional to the length length here means the distance and students which force are we talking about let me clear that इस केस में स्टूडेंट्स आप देख रहे हैं कि दो किस्म की फोर्सेस हैं यहाँ वन फोर्स इज कॉल्ड एन अप्लाइड फोर्स जो हम अप्लाई करते हैं और वो राइट वर्ड अप्लाई करते हैं जिसकी वजह से बॉडी डिस्टेंस कवर करती है एंड व्हेन वी रिलीज दैट ऑब्जेक्ट जब हम इसको छोड़ते हैं अप्लाइड फोर्स इज सीज उसका काम खत्म हुआ बट हेयर अपियर्स एन फोर्स विच टेंड्स टू मूव दैट ऑब्जेक्ट टूअर्ड इट्स मेन पोजिशन मीन्स कि वो इसको रिस्टोर करवाना चाहता है अपने प्रीवियस पोजीशन सो दैट्स व्हाई वी कॉल दिस फोर्स एज रिस्टोरिंग फोर्स इन दैट 
phase also when the body is moving leftward due to this compression here is again a force which tends to move this object toward the mean position again we call it a restoring force so students we are dealing with applied force and restoring force and you have to keep in your mind we are dealing with a restoring force here in it means ke is pure formula mein jo force hum zikr kar rahe hain jiska wo restoring force hai so the force is directly proportional to x means displacement matlab jitni displacement body ki zyada hogi the restoring force will be as much as the displacement means jitni displacement zyada hai utni restoring force zyada hogi और अगर डिस्प्लेसमेंट कम होगी रिस्टोरिंग फोर्स भी कम होगी स्टूडेंट्स यू नो वेन वी रिमूव दिस प्रोपोर्शनैलिटी साइन वी हैव टू पुट इक्वेजन एंड अ कॉन्स्टेंट हेयर वी हैव पुट के विच इज कॉल्ड अ स्प्रिंग कॉन्स्टेंट एंड दिस के इज द मयर ऑफ द स्टिफनेस ऑफ द स्प्रिंग इफ द स्प्रिंग इज स्टिफ इट मीन्स द वैल्यू ऑफ के इज मोर एंड इफ द स्प्रिंग इज सॉफ्ट द वैल्यू ऑफ के इज लेस Here we have put a minus sign. Why is it so? You can see here the negative sign in the equation means that the force exerted by the spring by the spring means we are talking about restoring force is directed opposite to the displacement. Means the direction of the force is always opposite to the displacement. Here the body was moved rightward and restoring force was acting in leftward here the body is moving leftward but the restoring force is acting rightward so it means when displacement and force are opposite in direction that is why we put this minus sign students to find this k this x is multiplied will be divided on the next side of the equation f according to newton's second law equals to ma when we put the value of f instead of this we came to know about another equation that is k equals to minus ma upon x here students we are going to find acceleration jab hum acceleration find karni hai then students agar hum is proportionality sign ko remove kar sakte hain by putting equation and constant then hum reverse kaam bhi kar sakte hain by removing constants and equation we can put this sign again you can see this k is already a constant to find a this x will go to next side of the equation and will be multiplied m will be divided and k is already constant we call it spring constant m you have studied in class 9 when you were taught about differences of mass and weight that mass never changes it means mass be constant hai so these two constants and this equation when we, we remove that we put proportionality sign again so it means a is also directly proportional to displacement so after all these discussions we conclude that hence the horizontal motion of the mass spring system is an example of simple harmonic motion restoring force we have discussed the definition says a restoring force always pushes or pulls the object performing oscillatory motion towards the mean position and students if you want to find out the time period of this spring system then you will have to follow the formula t equals t stands for time period 2 pi m by k in a square root m is the mass k is the constant is we called spring constant now students we are going to explain or prove that the ball and ball system also executes simple harmonic motion students i have explained earlier that if a body is executing simple harmonic motion there are three requirements the very first is the body should be vibrating so in this example also and in this case also you can see the ball is also oscillating or vibrating just like the spring second the force should be directly proportional to displacement here we proved that the force was directly proportional to displacement so we are going to prove here also when we apply force on that ball this ball moves 
upward and when we release then if the displacement of the ball is more then the restoring force that is acting on the ball will also be more in this phase also when the ball is moving upward restoring force acts in the downward direction towards the position if the distance or the displacement of the ball is more the restoring force will also be more so the second requirement also fulfills in both of these examples that the force is directly proportional to displacement and third the direction of the force should always be towards mean position. In this example, you can see in this phase, the force is moving in this direction, mean position. In this case, body is moving leftward, but restoring force is acting toward mean position. So, in this case also, and here, when we release the object, after applying force, the displacement was towards rightward, but force i am talking about restoring force was acting in the leftward so it means that direction of restoring force was towards mean position in this phase also when the ball moves upward the displacement is towards left side but the restoring force is acting towards right side means towards mean position so in both of these examples the direction of restoring force is always towards mean position so we can say that the ball and ball system is also executing simple harmonic motion. Finally, students, you were told in instructions that you will be given a homework at the end of the lesson. So, what are you going to do is, from review questions, there are two questions 10.1 and 10.2 and from conceptual questions, there is a question 10.2. These questions are related to our today's topic. So, you should try yourself to write the answers of these questions in your neat notebooks and after reopening the school, your assignments will be checked. So students, that was all about today's lecture. Thank you very much. I wish you a good day, stay safe and healthy. Allah.